Hey, what is going on everybody? It is 2000 Ghetto here, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. We finished the main story yesterday. Uh, that was the finale of that. Now we're going to be going on to doing the DLCs, basically. Uh, I'm actually going to save Queen Victoria, Queen Victoria for last. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do Queen Victoria missions before or after World War One. We'll decide as that comes along. Um, but first, what we are going to do is the we are going to continue the Charles Dickens memories. Because um, this was actually the only one that we started. All the other ones I figured out that we didn't do. Um, so, <clears throat> we did the Spring Heel Jack <clears throat> mission. And now we got Hell's Bells. So, including Hell's Bells, there's one, two, three, five five more missions so in total there was six now we have five left so I'd like to get started on those you know let's get those going um, and I decided since we're doing some kind of like investigating type work like that so I decided to put this sweet outfit on so we'll see how that goes but yeah let's get back into Charles Dickens and cover the truth behind some paranormal thefts Ooh. there's been a spate of rather intriguing crazy about town recently Robberies in London? I never thought I'd see the day. Of course. They look like common robberies at first, but these perpetrators have all claimed to have been under the influence of some supernatural power. Hmm. I'm not so foolish as to forget that criminals will spin any yarn to avoid the law. However, these thieves all proffer the same defense. They say. They were being controlled by a demon. Will you oh make some inquiries? One of our demon-possessed mobsmen is being held behind bars at this very moment. You may want to begin your search there. Okay. Let's go. Well, not too far away. Let's speak to the policeman. Okay, really, dude? Think you're gonna swap me like that? No way, no how. Um, it's kind of weird that it's up, but whatever. Oh, I guess it's like inside. Um, where can we go in? Right here. Excuse me, boys. Just another policeman like you. What's this one in for? Rob the pawnbrokers down the road. A demon made me do it. I can't remember much. That's what's so queer. I've never stolen anything in my life before. Who do you think made you do this? All I can recall is a silver watch swinging in midair. It was held by someone or something. A dark presence whispering. I could only see its eyes. A demon. Hmm. Maybe the shopkeeper will make more sense. Well, let's go this way then. Shopkeep, a million miles away. You know how it goes. All right. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. All right. So that's kind of interesting here. Okay. Um. Wow, the horse kicks your ass, dude. If you're gonna mess around like that. All right, excuse me. We take this carriage and not go that way, but go on the road here, so we can get there a little bit quicker. Don't need to take an hour to travel there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I guess we got a we got a demon possessing people. That is certainly not good. Got my way. Alright, so let's go see the shopkeep. Alright. Hello? Why? Why must you make me go back here? May I ask you about the robbery? There's not much to say. Most of the items did come from the same cellar. Enzio Capelli, <coughs> Supreme, oh. a 
Damn, I'm a shaman from Italy. Several weeks ago, he was forced to pawn his family heirlooms, debts. I'll have the address of the last person who redeemed something of his. A lovely pearl necklace. That helpful? Not again! Stop her! Stop! Somebody stop that thief! I'm stuck! Excuse me! Hey, check! Hey, lady! Get back here! Whoa, she's sprinting! Oh man, she's a quick one. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Get out the way! Ain't got time for this. Excuse me, excuse me. Um, hello? How is she so fast? She's so fast! Nobody is this fast. Ooh! Cut her off! Ah! Got her. Physically impossible, but I got her. You were just indulging in a little like theft. It's all very hazy, but I remember something silver See? flashing in front of my eyes. You know, eyes. there's no way she could have ran that fast if she was not possessed. Back on track. You know what I'm now saying? Now to find this buyer. There's just no way. That's the way. So let's get over here. Talk to the last buyer of this thingy, my Bob. Let's not be so hasty this time. I know the bladers aren't gonna mess with me anymore, so that's good. Climb on the same cart as the thief. Okay. Why the heck is that guy walking like he's got shit in his pants? What the hell? So this guy stole this stuff, and then, and then he uh, he just starts walking away slowly, as if nothing happened. Okay. Uh, it's kind of weird, dude. Okay. Alright. So is he going to go into this cart? I'm almost assuming. It's the best way for me to get in here. No way! I pushed it! Easy girl! Easy! Um, I just did that. Uh. No. Yo, what the hell, man? I mean, what... Gosh, now he's gonna start doing the stupid turnaround thing. Oh my, this is annoying. Can you just. 
Oh my gosh. Just keep walking, you freak. Stand still. Jeez. Where is this guy going? Okay. The speakers are making weird noises. <sighs> where, oh where can this guy be going? Been tattling this guy for hours. Hours upon hours. Is he meeting this these sketchy fellers? No? Before I snap your neck, that's just great. Oh my gosh, dude. That guy looks kind of sketchy. He looks red for like no reason. So, looks like he could be meeting this guy. Okay, he is. You want to give me the necklace now, don't you? Yes. You want to give me the necklace now, don't you? Yes. I want to give you the necklace now. Not a ghost, not a demon, but the great Enzio Capelli. You are very much mistaken. Aren't you, my child? You got me. Yes, uh, I am very much mistaken. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. You are very much mistaken. And now you are so very, oh, very tired. You're getting me good. Aren't you? Yes, I'm very, very tired. Now, you're going to do a little job of work for me, aren't you? No. <laughs> My goodness. What foul behavior. Oh my. What's he going got me. on? Where the devil am I? You've been arrested for theft. How very intriguing. <laughs> I don't remember a damn thing. <laughs> Let's get you out of here. I've pulled a few strings and they won't prosecute on account of your losing your mind. Be free, little chicken. Oh my gosh. Ah, he got me good. Mm. Well. Well, I got wrecked, but whatever. That's okay. No worries. There he goes. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Alright, so... That's gonna be it for that one. Um, so that's the second mission in the uh, Charles Dickens memories. Um, mission three is going to be recollection. And then this one actually opens up right away, but it's actually the fourth mission. So we'll be doing that after this one. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, you know, these missions are a little bit weird, but hey, you know, we'll be able to uh, keep chugging along through them and we'll see how they go. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every view that I get. If you like what you saw, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to keep up on all my videos. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Link is always in the description below. And we will see you on the next episode of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Um, these episodes should be probably a little bit shorter than they have been recently. Because uh, I'm assuming these mes missions aren't going to be too long. Um, but we'll see how that goes. You know me. They could get long, could be short. But anyways... Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Later, guys.